know. <laughs> he did it. He's always teasing me. <laughs> I didn't do a thing. You saw me. I was just sitting here. He's right. She did it herself. You heard her. <laughs> Pass. All right. One at a time, please. Jack, Judy, now let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. Jack, tell me what happened. Whatever happened in this classroom is going to take a great deal of explaining. Suppose we go back to the day the trouble really started. Judy has brought with her a bottle of perfume. It was her first real perfume, and she was eager to show it to her friends. And the girls were impressed. Uh oh, there's the bell. Let's all find our places, please. Time for class to begin. It began as simply as that. Jack first teased Judy on impulse. Most teasing begins that way. Some of it never goes any farther than good-natured bantering. Yet Jack persisted in tormenting Judy. She felt Jack was no longer trying to be funny as much as he was trying to hurt her feelings. The situation seemed to gather momentum of its own, like a snowball rolling downhill. Until Judy dreaded meeting Jack at all, until she hated to go to school where he could tease her. Her schoolwork began to suffer. She spent more time worrying about Jack's next attack than about her studying. Judy, could you stay a moment? I'd like to talk with you. Why, well, yes, Miss Brown. I'll see you. Judy, you've been very unhappy lately. Something's troubling you, something that interferes with your schoolwork. Wouldn't you like to tell me about it? Judy, I want to help you. What's wrong? There, there isn't anything wrong, Miss Brown. I, I, may I go now? Yes, you may go. But if you ever feel like talking about it, won't you let me know? Nor was Miss Brown the only one who was beginning to feel concern over the problem of teasing as it affected Judy and Jack. Classmates who could see what was going on were beginning to take an active interest. Listen, you're riding Judy too hard. Fun's fun, but this is different. Why don't you lay off? I think it's awful. I think you should have told Miss Brown what Jack's been doing. Well, I don't want to be a tattletale. Not if I can help it, but... Oh, I don't know what I'll do, but I'll think of something. Finally, one day, the business all came to a head. All right, class. Bill has just told us what he considers to be the important effects of the Industrial Revolution. The invention of the sewing machine, and the invention of the cotton gin. Do the rest of you have any other ideas? All right, Judy, how about you? What do you think? Well, Miss Brown, I stink. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that... I think <laughs> there we have the incidents leading up to the unhappy situation in which Judy and Jack found themselves. The point is, what could have been done? What should have been done? before Jack's disregard for the other fellow's feelings resulted in this. What do you think? Should Judy have reported Jack's actions to Miss Brown? Judy, I just want to help you. What's wrong? Miss Brown, I, well, it seems sort of silly when you go to tell about it, 
Now, I don't want to tattle, but, well, well, it's Jack Sims. He teases me all the time. I, I had a bottle of perfume one day, and it got broken so that he could smell it. And, and ever since, he's been driving me crazy. He, he's been calling me stinky. Do you think bringing the problem out in the open, tattling, if you want to call it that, would have been justified and the wisest thing for Judy to do? Or do you believe that under ordinary circumstances, the problem would have worked itself out with a little more help on the part of Judy's schoolmates? You stinky, Judy. Listen, I thought I told you to lay off. Let her alone. Why, what's it to you? Oh, you make me tired. Always hurting Judy's feelings. And just because she beat you in that essay contest. Say, you can't say that. Oh, yeah? Everybody else is. Or there's another course Judy might have tried, retaliation, getting even with Jack. Say, what's the big idea? What do you think you're doing? What? What are you talking about? I have the faintest idea of what you mean. Wherever you go, there will be teasers. Occasionally, these people are amusing, more often simply discourteous and annoying. But teasers may do real damage if they ridicule others because they look or act differently, or, as in Judy's case, because they are victims of circumstances. Wherever you go, there will be those who can't take it. When someone is making every effort to hurt our feelings, very few of us can take it. Even if you are never the teaser, or never the one being teased, you will meet this problem. There is a Judy or Jack among your friends. What should Judy have done? Did Jack know what he was doing? Or Judy? If you were Jack, if you were one of their classmates, what would you do 